So this here is a uh, Peltier. And I've got a uh, CPU cooling uh, fan and heat sink. And uh, here's another heat sink right here. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just a proof of concept to see if um, this will efficiently cool this down, uh, cool this coil here down to, uh, I don't know, maybe not freezing, but below 40 degrees would be nice. And uh, I have a, it's not hooked up yet, but I have a power supply over here. This is just a generic computer power supply. It's got a ton of cables coming off of it. These are all uh, like 6 and 12 or 5 and 10 volts, something along those lines. Um, sufficient to uh, power the fans and also energize the Peltier. And uh, what I'll do is I'll hook everything up and then uh, I have these uh, digital thermocouples and I'll attach one to uh, the hot side and one to the cold side of the um, setup here and uh, we'll see uh, see how efficient it is. My setup, really high tech. Um, I, uh, I haven't come up with a good way yet to secure the two sides together so for right now I'm just using some thread um, got the Peltier wired up the fan wired up and um, I have two uh, thermocouples attached to it so we'll, uh, we'll see what we end up with here and uh, hopefully nothing explodes when I turn this on so 49 for the cold side and 110 for the hot side um, it says 110 but it's actually not that warm on the outer edges here uh, that temperatures probably right down in center of mass I have this probe shoved in pretty far and then up here I actually don't have it shoved in very far because it, it can't fit in there too tight or it's too tight for it to fit in there, I guess. Um, where are we at? So we're at uh, 46 on the top and 110 on the bottom. It'll be interesting to see uh, where it actually gets to. So I'm just going to leave this running for the next 10-15 uh, minutes and then come back and check on it. See if it uh, gets any colder or if the bottom heats up too much. Alright, so we're uh, actually a lot colder than I expected it to get, which is kind of cool. And you can see there's uh, condensation beating up on the fans. Um, something's happened though. I'm not quite sure what, but the power supply, you can probably hear it, it's screaming like a banshee. So I'm guessing something something's not quite right inside there. Um, anyway though, that's kind of cool. Uh, perform much better than I expected and uh, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to use this in a project coming up uh, once I figure out how to mount this without using a stupid ass string alright now I gotta figure out why the uh, power supply is screaming <laughs>